Okay, so here I've got a couple of cans and I want to start to talk about what's the ideal shape for a can. And let's not think about um, let's not think about marketing. Let's just uh, consider some just basic uh, sort of what's the best shape of a can if we don't have to appeal to uh, the younger generation. So here I've got an 8.4. Well, no, it's a 250 milliliters. It's a 250 milliliter can. It's kind of tall and skinny, and it weighs 10.97 grams. And then here I've got sort of a more traditionally shaped can, and that's 340 milliliters, and it weighs uh, 13.24 grams. Okay? So. <clears throat> Suppose I've got, um, let's pull that off to the side. Well, let's look at this. Move that up like that. Okay. So, this is uh, 10.97 divided by 250. This is 0 0.04388 grams per milliliter of contents. And this is 13.24 divided by 340. So this is 0 0.0389. Oh, da, 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 four grams per milliliter contents. And so I'm going uh, too many significant digits. Let's call that, let's call that four, and let's call that nine. Okay, so assuming that you don't care about marketing, and people certainly do care about marketing, but assuming you don't care about marketing, this can is cheaper per milliliter of fluid inside than this can. And you sort of look at it, and this one is sort of wider, but it's also shorter. And so the question becomes, is there an ideal can size? Okay, so let's start thinking about that. Suppose we got just a can, and we're not gonna worry about all the extra stuff. We're just gonna call it uh, a cylinder. And so the cylinder has a radius, and it's got a height. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that the uh, volume of the can, that um, the, the volume of the can is equal to pi r squared h. Now, the price of the can, um, then I'm gonna say, uh, let's see, uh, material, the volume of the aluminum so not the volume of the can, the volume of the aluminum is going to be, uh, let's say, it's going to be basically um, the thickness of the can. This is where I have to sort of get into a little bit of trickiness. The side of the can has a surface area of two pi r times h. How do I want to see that? So like this, this the side part here, it has an H and it's got an R. The circumference of the can is two pi R. So this is basically two pi R times H. And then plus you've got two ends, which I'm assuming are, are full size. They're not on a real can. 
Um, so these guys have engineered things uh, better than I'm gonna model them. Plus, um, pi r squared, and you've got two of those. You've got one on top, one on the bottom. And then I'm also going to say that if you sort of fool around with these cans, you realize that the top and the bottom are thicker. So let's uh, say that they're two and a half times as thick. So I'm going to say that uh, my volume of aluminum is equal to um, 2 pi r h plus 5 pi r squared. Okay, now <clears throat> suppose I want to just make some volume can. Let's say 340 milliliters. This is just a standard beverage can, so 340 milliliters. Let's, uh, I don't like this 11.5 ounces. I like 12 ounces. Let's call it 350 milliliters. So we want to enclose 350 milliliters in a can. Okay? So that is 350 milliliters. Well, one milliliter, that's 350 centimeters cubed. And so that's going to be 350 times 10 to the negative 6 meters cubed. So it's going to be 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4 meters cubed. And that's going to be equal to pi r squared h. And so now I'm going to say that h is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4th meters cubed divided by pi r squared. Okay, you're with me? So now I've got h, I've got the height of my can as a function of the volume, which is a fixed amount, that's how much we want to put in the can, and the radius of the can. If I make the radius bigger, the height can be smaller. If I make the radius smaller, the height has to be bigger. Okay, so then my volume of my aluminum, this is going to be uh, V aluminum is going to be 2 pi r times 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed over pi r squared plus 5 pi r squared. So it's going to be pi's cancel, one of these r's cancel, and I get 2 times that so I'm going to get 7 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed over r plus 5 pi r squared. Now if I want to make the cost of the can, if I want to minimize the amount of aluminum I've got in the can, I want to minimize this function. So I want to take uh, v prime and set it equal to zero. Well, my V prime is going to be the derivative of this. Let me start off on a new page here, so because we're going to run out. So let me get that function right up there. And I'm going to rewrite it a little bit differently. OK. So it's 7 times 10 to the negative 4th meters cubed times r to the negative 1 plus 5 pi r squared. So then v prime is going to be negative 7 times 10 to the negative 4th meters cubed r, r to the negative 2 plus 10 pi r. 
and I want to set that equal to zero. So I've got 10 pi r is equal to 7 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed 1 over r squared and I'm going to get r cubed is equal to 7 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed divided by 10 pi and r is going to equal the cube root of 7 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed divided by 10 pi and I go to my calculator for that I go parentheses 7 e negative 4 divided by 10 divided by pi Let's see where I can get that. That's better for that. Divided by, and then to the 1 divided by 3. And I'm going to get my r is equal to 0 0.0281 meters. So r is going to be equal to 2.8 centimeters. And so then if I look at my, I should have my calipers out here. So I'm saying that the average, that the, that the perfect diameter should be around 5.6 centimeters. And so let's look here, see if you can see it. This, let me grab my other ruler, see if the other ruler works better. Okay, let's do that. And so there's zero, and so this is like seven and a half. It's about seven and a half uh, centimeters. So this thing would, so this is seven and a half centimeters. Ideally, Using my calculations, it should be 5.6 centimeters. But again, I made some real random calculations about how thick that is and how thick that is. And, and these guys know their business a lot more than I do. But just using simple calculus, we're going to say that your ideal can that uses the least amount of aluminum is going to have an R of 2.8 centimeters. And then coming back, I have this other function. Uh, where did I got it? Um, and I say H is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth over pi R squared. So that's 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed divided by pi uh, 0 0.0281 meters squared. So that's going to be 3.5 e4 negative 4 divided by pi divided by my answer squared, divided by my answer squared, and I get 14 centimeters, 0 0.1407 meters, so 14 centimeters. So assuming that the top and the bottom are two and a half times thicker than the sides, my ideal can has a radius of 2.8 centimeters and, my, and a height of 14 centimeters.